Hey, we always live Elvis. Memphis Mop, your kid, and... And Teresa. And me. <laughs> hey, I uh, hope everybody's uh, had a good week. Looking forward to the to the weekend. I know we are. And uh, today we're going to uh, answer some questions. Got some great questions. But first, Teresa got has got birthdays. a couple, a couple bar more birthdays. October birthdays. Happy birthday, Phaedra Hornbeck and Happy Dickie birthday. C. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday, y'all. If you want to... If you have an October birthday and you want a shout out for it, just put it in the comments under the video. Not on Facebook, you know, just if that's what this is where it needs to be, so I'm sure we'll get it. Under well, the comments of the video. 18 for Roger. <laughs> okay, we're going to start out with. Yeah, uh, well, we. we oh, okay, I see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, let's get with the first question. Okay, this one is from Tammy. As you watch Lisa grow into an adult, do you think she looked more and more like Elvis? Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Uh, she had uh, a lot of her daddy's looks and a lot of her daddy's ways. Uh, like but, mannerisms? But yes, yeah. yes. I mean, yes. But, uh, yeah, I mean, to me, even, you know, when we were kids and little, she had that Elvis look, uh, you know, her... her her little sleepy eyes and and just uh, you know I she just resembled her daddy. So. All right, uh, the second one's from Colin Louise. If Elvis would not have been the greatest entertainer, what do you think his career would have been? I'm gonna be honest with you. The only possible way that I can answer this question is. That just wasn't meant to happen, and I can't, I can't see Elvis Presley being anything or doing anything, rather than being who he was. Elvis Presley, the the greatest entertainer. You wouldn't have uh, drove a bus in the like world. He did, or... I mean, you know that goes to kind of show you if it makes sense that you know God sent him to. I mean. He, did he what, was created what to, he was meant to do. To do that very, yeah. yeah I mean, I ju I just can't picture it now. You know, maybe somebody else can, but uh, that's my answer. And I thought about that uh, through life, and and never could ever. I mean, he was meant to be who he was, and thank God for that. All right, lettuce and tomatoes. Did Elvis routinely have parties at Graceland? I like that username. <laughs> yep, lettuce and tomatoes. <laughs> No, a lot of people, I mean, when you say parties, you, you've got to, uh, I mean, a party would be a party that you're holding and, and, or, or, you know, something like that. And once in a while, uh, you know, New Year's or or something like that, maybe. But every day at Graceland, somebody was there. You have to understand, Elvis had, had uh, that, Graceland was... Pretty much, I won't say full, but had a lot of people 24-7. Maybe they're meaning like a party with loud music and drinking and that kind of party. No, not, no, no. I mean, uh, Elvis wasn't that big a drinker. I mean, at times they'd sit around, and yes, some of the guys uh, drink beer and, and, you know, some of the guys would have a mixed drink or, or you know, uh, and at times they did it. You know, I've told stories about that, but it wasn't, uh, it, as far as, a lot of parties, like parties today, yeah, uh, just it wasn't that way. Okay, Stephen Fuzz was Elvis aware of the volume of gifts, letters, and cards that he received uh -huh. daily? Oh yes, yes. Uh, not only was he aware of it, uh, he he was very uh, uh, proud of it. Uh, always amazed, and and that's the thing. Always appreciated and made sure. That some way, the majority, I mean, of the fans were 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 thanked or sent something uh, uh, back. That's just that's just what he wanted, and and uh, you know, it's almost impossible, probably, to say you know you you got ev they got everybody, but uh, they did the best damn job possible, and 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 that was always on his mind and making sure that. Uh, uh, his fans were always taken care of. Daniel Boone says, was Priscilla good to you kids? 
Priscilla was, yeah, I mean, yeah, when she was around, when we were around uh, her and stuff, yeah, I mean, she, you know, was, uh, was good. I, I wouldn't say that, you know, I, I mean, her and Mama were together on, regardless of what. Okay. Uh, of what's been said out there, you know that uh, as in they were they were very close at one time, and, and you know I was around her, but she, I mean, she never was the type of uh, kind of like I look at my mama, you know, when Lisa come out to our trailer, and, and you know, mama was involved in in and uh, you know, being with us kids, and you, you know what I'm saying, the missile, and and she she just wasn't like that. To me. And the last question is from Jane. But she never was mean to me. Let me, I mean. Good, yeah. 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 Cut her off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I cut him off a little bit. Okay, James Rogers. Danny, did you ever see the movies Vanishing Point, Warriors, or Enter the Dragon? Did I ever? Uh, that's, you know, that's probably the three great. Vanishing Point was, was, uh, was just cool, you know. Uh, the whole story, you know, and then uh, you know, him trying to, uh, raise his way back, I guess you say, to, to his wife, and then, uh, 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 of course, the Warriors, I mean, uh, who can forget, you know, Warriors, come out to play! The lady's <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Uh, you know, all those movies, yes, I, I've seen every one of them, uh, over and over, and, Every once in a while, I still go back and watch them. So, but uh, you know that brings it brings back a uh, a lot of memories. Y'all, once again, we appreciate these questions. Hey, keep sending them. Also, the subscribers have been going up. We thank each and every one of you for that. That's what helps keep us going. <laughs> uh, and uh, you know, if you hadn't subscribed, subscribe. If you know somebody that hadn't or or that's not aware of us. Hey, we always... Spread the message. Right. Also, I know your vocal cords hurt from doing that. Rest them. Re yeah, let me... <laughs> yeah, before we go, let me just tell you what she did to me. Uh, she had some M&M cookies. And... Ah, ba 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 I'm going to bring the bad things you missed. All of sixth grade into this. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Papa got... Little bitty M&M, and that's it. She had these great That's cookies. more than I got of him coming to my band things. <laughs> oh, see, she ain't never let that go. Never let it go. Never. <laughs> y'all hope y'all have a great weekend. We got more videos coming out after you, and uh, we love each and every one of y'all, and guess what we always say? We, we always, always live, live out.